Hey, so you're my new neighbor, right? I'm George. I'm Imelda. We just drove all the way here from Vancouver. Well, I hope you like it around here in Fredericton. It must be really different from Vancouver. Here, do you want me to show you around? Wow, the coastal plains here in Fredericton are beautiful. I can see some hills in the distance too. Yup, I guess that's what separates our Atlantic Maritime ecozone from all the other ones in Canada. Ecozones? Canada is separated into 15 regions, each with distinct living and non-living characteristics. These are Canada's ecozones. Oh yes, I remember. I learned a little about them in geography back in Vancouver, and I actually saw the differences while driving across Canada. Starting from the Pacific Maritimes, we passed through the Montane Cordillera, Boreal Plains, Prairies, and Boreal Shield to get here to the Atlantic Maritimes. How was it? Well, some of the landforms, climate, vegetation, soils, human activities, and major urban areas were similar, but there were lots of differences in these characteristics and conditions as well. For example, the Taiga Shield and Hudson Plains ecozones have similar climates, but are significantly different in vegetations and soils. What about the Pacific Maritimes where you came from? Well, human activities like forestry, agriculture, tourism, urbanization, and fishing are generally the same. But everything else is so different. I just hope it doesn't get too cold in the winter. You don't need to worry. It averages around negative 4 degrees Celsius in the winter. They're actually quite mild, but the winters here sure last a long time. Today's actually a typical summer day. 17 degrees Celsius right now. We get some moderately warm summers. It's not a very extreme temperature range, but we do get quite a lot of precipitation. Around 1,000 to 1,400 millimeters per year. There's a growing season of 180 to 210 days. That means crops can be grown in this period. That's really important for the farmers because agriculture is an important industry here. In fact, my grandfather was a farmer. Hey George, let's make some mud pie. I used to play this game back home with my best friend. You know Imelda, there's actually a very thin layer of topsoil here. The organic materials are washed down by excess rainfall, so our wet climate soils are leached. Wow, George, how do you know so much about this place? About the Atlantic Maritime Ecozone in general? My grandfather told me all about this. He's a farmer who lived here his whole life. Seems like you look up to your grandfather a lot. Hey, you want to hear a story my grandfather once told me? <gasps> sure! He was a little younger than us at the time. Jack, will you tell me what we're doing? Shush, Evelyn. Just help me dig. We're going to plant a tree together. A tree? Jack, that is so cool. What type of tree will it be? Can we plant a sugar maple? Actually, I was thinking of... Aw, but there's so many sugar maples here. It shouldn't be hard to find seeds. Well, the vegetation here is home to a lot of different kinds of trees. Take the coniferous white pine, red spruce, or the red pines, for instance. Their pines are scattered in a lot of places, too. But, but... Or, of course, there are the deciduous trees, like red oaks, yellow birches, and sugar maple. Sugar maples! Fine, we'll plant a sugar maple. Now, in our Atlantic Maritime Ecozone, there are four major urban areas. Halifax, the capital of Nova Scotia, Charlottetown, the capital of PEI, St. John, a city in New Brunswick, and of course, Franklinton, the capital of New Brunswick. Now, class, you should be taking notes on this. Our Atlantic Maritime Ecozone has an area of 192,017 kilometers squared and a total population of 2,537,685 people, with a GDP of 39.9 billion. Some we'll continue this lesson tomorrow, class.
show off, even if fishing is one of the most prominent activities here. Evelyn, Evelyn, look, I got this specially for you. Horrible. But what can you expect? Forestry is an important activity here. Besides, they're probably going to clear this area away in another couple of years for urbanization. Another major activity. What are you doing? You'll see.